what's up youtube what is going on what is new in the neighborhood um i am in my very echoey office a temporary office as i have had a bunch of stuff happen since y'all probably last heard from me including a career change so I am back in the office for two days a month, and I really didn't have anything to do on my lunch break, and I noticed that I was getting quite a few comments just asking where I've been and what I'm doing. I didn't know y'all like me like that. I did not know that I was supposed to keep posting and everybody would want to know what's new. So here's the tea on what's new. Um, I know nowadays people's attention spans are short, so I'm gonna keep this video short and most of it will be in response to some of the messages and some of the questions that I got in the comments because I do read the comments unless y'all get ignorant because I get ignorant right back. So this video is going to be one, where I've been, what I've been doing and what's new in my life in case y'all cared. And then next is four things that I think you should know before you should go into this plastic surgery journey. Because baby, when I tell you it's a journey, it is a journey. Of course, I'm going to show y'all some current photos. So I'm two years post-op, two and a half years post-op. Um, I will show y'all what I look like. No, I didn't really gain too much weight. I did gain a little bit of COVID weight, but I'm in the gym three times a week. I'm not sure if y'all really care about that, but we can talk about whatever y'all want to talk about. So, um, first things first, before you jump into doing all the research that's necessary to, um, to find a plastic surgeon, what kind of surgery consultations and all of this other stuff, other stuff, before you even get there, right? This is for my women who are having difficulty dealing with their body. Okay. Now, as many of you know, I had five, I have five children, three of which I gave birth to one I acquired through marriage, my stepdaughter, and then a second child that I adopted. So um, not really sure if y'all are interested in that story. Let me know in the comments and I'm happy to do a video on our five-year adoption story and how that came about after I had had four kids already. Anyway, um, but I think that it is extremely important to develop some healthy habits prior to getting plastic surgery. And when I say healthy habits, I mean, as a woman, there's certain maintenance that we require. And I feel like no matter what you look like, you should have a basic maintenance plan 